Well, hello, darlings. Welcome back to another story time. And we are going to be reading Clifford, the firehouse dog. Let's see how this is going to go, darlings. It works with the fire. My name is Emily Elizabeth. And this is my dog Clifford. He is not the oldest in his family, but he is the biggest. That is very true. He is huge. Last week, Clifford and I went to the city to visit Clifford's brother Nino. Nino, Clifford knew the way. Nino lived in a fire house. He is a fire rescue dog. Oh, that's cute. Hmm. I asked the firefighters if Clifford could help them. They thought he was the right color for the job. Just then, a group of school kids came in for a fire safety class. I wonder how this is going to go. Nino showed them what to do with their clothes when their clothes are on fire. Stop, drop, and roll to smooth the flames. You stop, drop to the ground, and roll until the fire is out. Clifford thought he could do that. He repeated the lesson for the class. He stopped. He dropped. And he rolled. Sounds like a blast if you ask me, darling. Hmm. He rolled a little further. Too far. Just then, we heard the siren. There was a fire. Oh, good lord. He helped us all. But he can be helpful, I can tell you that. You know, started to guide the children. Clifford and I ran a ahead. He cleared the street for the firefighters. I mean the fire truck. Huh? You never know. Big dogs do come in handy. They come in all sizes. Hmm. Smoke was poured from pouring from the top floor of a high building. Clifford pulled the crowd back to a safe place. He saw some people in trouble. He's gonna go save him. I know he is. That's what Clifford's personality is and he's such a sweetheart for that. But then he saw that the fire hydrant was stuck shut. Thank God Clifford was there to unstick it. Hmm. He comes in handy for a lot of things, doesn't he? <laughs> they had to get the smoke out of the building. Clifford made a hole in the roof. The firefighters were call calling more water. Clifford found some. He helped clear the smoke away. That's a smart move. When the fire was out, Clifford made sure that the firefighters got out of the building safely. They were grateful for everything he had done to help. I bet they are. Because if it wasn't for Clifford, many people would have probably, you know. We give some 
we gave some firefighters a ride back to the fire station. Clifford was a hero. The fire chief made him an honorary fire rescue dog. Just like his brother Nino. And here are some of Clifford's fire safety rules. Tape the number of your fire station to your phone. Cell phone. No two ways out of your house or apartment building. Choose a place nearby where you and other members of your family can meet if you have to leave your home and get separated. Never go back into your house for anything if the building is on fire. Tell your mom or dad to change the batteries and the smoke detector every year on your birthday. Okay. Do not play with matches. Never use the stove without an adult. Yeah, I am an adult, you guys, but I still do need help. But those are the rules, and I hope you guys have a wonderful nightmare. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Mwah.